Welcome back everybody. Woohoo! Yeah, welcome back. Oh man, I love this bike. Guys, I know I just started this video saying that I love this bike. But if you watch my last video, I tell you why I love this bike so much. Now, I just wanted to give you my two cents. Yeah. My bitching and complaining and my griping about the fat ball. And uh, let's slow down a little bit for the wind. <laughs> let's cruise for a little bit. Let's talk. Guys, there's always something to improve. There's something, always something that you don't like about your bike, your car, or whatever. And this bike, I absolutely love and I absolutely will buy again if, if you know, if that was the choice, right? I absolutely love this bike. But there are some things that I dislike and some things that I hate it about this bike. And we're making changes uh, on those. You'll see videos of those, so stay tuned, subscribe, hit the like button. And uh, so you can see how uh, I'm transforming this bike to suit my likes. Right now I have over 2,000 miles on this bike, so I, I want to give you my perspective on how I feel about this bike uh, as an end user. And some of the things that I don't like about this bike, such as the sound. Now, if you watch my last video, I said that I love how it sounds. And that is correct. I love how it sounds now. I absolutely hated the sound of this bike. The stock bikes actually suck really bad. And a lot of you are going to say, yes, there are stock bikes and all that stuff and the vicious and I completely understand. Slow down here, a little town. I understand, I completely understand, but they were really, really bad. So we fixed that, put a set of uh, two brothers, two into one pipes, Cerakoted, and now I, I love how it sounds. But, so if you get into this bike, that is something that a lot of people already know, uh, Harley guys, that that is something that you will have to change to, you know, make it sound better uh, but if you're new to Harleys uh, just so you know these new Milwaukee 8 bikes they, they do not sound really really nice right even the Sportsters they still sound okay off the off the lot I think uh, hey that's your bike so now so the sound was an issue. Now, what else? Well, for some, this I dislike. It doesn't bother me as much as it would most uh, a lot of you. It is the small tank. This this bike has a small tank. It has like a 3.5 gallon tank or something like that. Uh, that is big for what I had. And uh, the gas mileage of this bike are pretty decent. Ooh, let's see but that is still pretty small for this type of bike and the last uh, iteration of fat bombs had a bigger tank so ooh, man this bike is a blast so the tank what else what else I did it like man what bothered me the most about this bike looks was two things the front blinkers and I'm gonna make a quick video on what I did to fix that but the front blinkers are they look like an afterthought and they seriously do I'm gonna slow down a little bit because this wind is crazy they they, they just just hang there they, they just look terrible and they are the same bullets that there are in every single freaking the Harley out there, except a few. But where they place them, they just look terrible. They just look terrible. So I eliminated those. We fixed it. But that is one thing I, I dislike about this aesthetics of this bike. 
second thing that I did like about the aesthetics was the details that they took or the details that they didn't take uh, with the color schemes so I have the vivid black bike most of it is blacked out and there was a lot of details on my bike that make no sense the color uh, and this is like all all these bikes so for instance the pipes the pipes I love the burnt bronze on the on the headers and but the pipes the cans on the back were like brush aluminum that make no sense so now you have a tricolor bike you have black you got some gray here but then now you have like some brush aluminum and then you have the burnt bronze that I freaking hated it and then two days after this bike comes out and I just say that you know the day exaggerated a little bit but Screaming Eagle comes out with black ones which look really nice if they sounded better but they were terrible 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 so aesthetics I hate it that pipe and then you know here and there my levers are brush aluminum my derby cover is chrome I, I don't I don't understand why it's chrome. And then I have some on the back uh, blinkers. There's some spacers there that are chrome. I don't know. I just think that if I have an all blacked out bike, it should be all blacked out. And uh, so I, I, I dislike that. You might think I'm nitpicking, but I, I truly am nitpicking for the most part. Now, the other thing that I didn't like about this bike the fact that it came with a nice headlight LED headlight and but it didn't come with blinkers that were LED does that makes any sense to you guys yeah it does it to me uh, the only thing I can think of and it's probably what it is is that Harley wants your money and my money so why in the world you put LED headlights and the rest is not headlights? That makes no sense. They have, even the FXDR has LED uh, blinkers. So I fixed that. Now I'm going to show you how I did that. Super cheap and now it's much better. But yeah guys, that's basically what I don't like about my my, my bike, everything is fixable and it just takes some time and some money uh, and then the last thing that to take in consideration if you're getting into the new software is that right now as of today there's not a lot of aftermarket support and the little aftermarket support that we have uh, you know is expensive so, like, perfect example, when I bought this bike, nobody out there had a CC bar for it, except Harley, of course. And then I had to, you know, pay the, the Harley tag on that. Now there are some CC bars out there, but still, there is not a lot of aftermarket support. And then when you get any aftermarket support, it's super expensive. Like, for instance, not that I'm going to do this, but I was looking at uh, this page that they had new stuff for the soft tail. And they have the risers for the fat bomb. And they're awesome. They're half, they come in two inch risers. They match perfectly. I mean, they, they did a really good job. Uh, but they're like 400 and some dollars.
change it greatly. This bike, you know, you can do it. There's going to be a lot of personally, uh, you know, you building shit, not buying stuff. A lot of custom fitting. Uh, you know, I remember with my sports car, you could just, man, so many, so many options. Uh, not that many options for this bike. But there you guys have it. Thank you for watching. Those are the, my quick